John Sykes is a rock star, singer and guitarist from Reading, Berkshire, England, and is best known for his work with Tigers of Pangtang, Tin Lizzy and Whitesnake, but in Blue Murder he was front and centre as the lead singer and guitarist. John Sykes formed Blue Murder after his departure from Whitesnake. While forming the band he went through a number of lineup changes but ultimately ended up with Carmine Appas on drums and Tony Franklin on bass and backing vocals. Blue Murder had two albums. The first was produced by the legendary Bob Rock and released on the 24th of April in 1989. The first album in particular is held in high regard amongst fans and in my opinion is one of the best sounding albums of the decade. It's got some amazing tracks, some of my favourites are Riot, Jelly Roll, Valley of the Kings and Blue Murder. It's got a hard rock funk type sound to it and is reminiscent of its past giving us Tin Lizzy and Whitesnake vibes. Despite all the high praise and 5 star ratings, it does have one song no one ever mentions. It's like the pink elephant in the room, and it's this one. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, but to be fair, a lot of artists of the time had released songs similar in tone to this one. Even for the time, it's still called that, and it took 5 weeks to write. Like, at no point did he think, hmm, maybe this one isn't such a good idea. I mean, compared to other songs like this from the decade, it's pretty gross but it's just something musicians wrote about back then for some reason. Anyway, that same year, Blue Murder, the album, entered the UK album charts and peaked at position 45. Across the pond in America, it entered the Billboard Top 200 and peaked at position 69. In my opinion, these aren't bad positions at all for what essentially was a new unknown band entering a market that was saturated with other well-known hard rock and glam metal acts. There were two music videos to promote the album, one for the song Jelly Roll and another for the song Valley of the Kings. The video for Jelly Roll, in my opinion, is a bit mad. Jelly Roll in a nutshell is about a guy who falls in love with a woman, then the woman breaks his heart. It's probably one of the best rock songs ever written and composed because it's not necessarily a ballad. It has three parts to it. It first starts out as an upbeat acoustic song, then it transitions into an electric hard rock song. Then, to end the track, it has an epic breakdown. The video is a full on 80s cheese fest. It has some weird yet hilarious moments. Like when we see good old John here stroking the life out of this horse's arse. He's decided to go full on Thatch Cottage with this pointless half down, half tied back look, leaving all of this poodle permed hair in his face. Like the whole reason someone ties their hair back when working is so it doesn't get in their face when they're working. Like, what is the point? Like, just just give yourself a minute, take a look at it there for a second and take it all in. What the fuck is that? It's mad looking. Then when his love interest gallops by, he stops for a second. He stops what he's doing, turns around and sort of shakes his hair. Just tossles it a bit because, you know, it looks so amazing. And she's like, oh yeah, there she is on the horse. Like, it looks fine when it's down. But when it's tied up like that, it just looks weird. And it's even weirder when he turns to the side. Also, why is he topless brushing a horse? I mean, it can't be that hot out, right? Then there's another scene after this where we see John and his love interest having a heated argument. They're in a bit of a domestic, probably because he didn't brush the horse properly. She storms into the house and John is left outside. Now, if I was John, I would have said, okay, she's a bit upset. I know, I'll get back in the car, go for a drive till she cools off. Or, I'd say, fuck this shit, I'll head into town, meet up with the boys in the band, and go for a few drinks and take my mind off this whole situation. But not John. As he turns away from the door, he decides to throw a hissy fit in the rain. It's now raining for some reason. He walks out into the garden, he fucking flings his leather jacket off, kneels down in the mud and horse shit, tears off his wife beater vest and confesses his love to the sky. Your one comes out as if to say, ah Jesus John, what are ya? So there she is, standing in the porch. Does she call the police and say, here, me ex-boyfriend, he's gone a bit mad here. Um, can you come and do something? No, she falls for it. She fucking falls for it. Because lo love can break your heart, I guess. Score one for emotional blackmail. The video ends in an embrace and a kiss. Cheesy, funny, but in a strange way, really epic. I really love this video. Valley of the Kings seems to be where the bulk of the video's budget went. It's got an elaborate set with 50 million lights and dry ice, and B-roll of Egyptian pyramids and lads pulling ropes, and scenes where you see a pharaoh and a whip, and it's where we see the rest of the band. The band looks cool as fuck, 
Everyone has huge hair. The drummer has a huge fucking drum kit. Everything is big. This video essentially is the 80s last hurrah before the 90s. Both videos I feel represent the ridiculousness of the 80s and also represent why it was the coolest decade. The outfits, the hair, the cheesy videos, everything was fun, exciting. And I think that's why this first album and these videos have stood the test of time. Next up was their 1993 release titled Nothing But Trouble. Disheartened by the poor sales of the first album, John took his time making the follow up, but by the time it was released, bands like Blue Murder were going out of fashion. Despite this though, Nothing But Trouble is an absolutely brilliant album. While most bands changed their sound to adapt to the grunge invasion, John Sykes stayed true to himself and his music and kept Blue Murder's signature sound. Its opening track We All Fall Down is an all out assault of hard rock that sounds like it could have been on Thunder and Lightning. He also covers Itchy Koo Park by the 60s band The Small Faces. It really is an amazing follow up to the first album and well worth a listen. Nothing But Trouble was released on August 31st 1993. There was one video made to promote this album for the song We All Fall Down. It looks to be low budget but despite this it's pretty enjoyable. The single would end up charting at number 35 on the rock charts according to Wikipedia. I can't seem to find any legit chart data to support this so take that with a grain of salt. The album didn't seem to chart at all, which is sad because it really is a lost gem. The following year, John would release Screaming Blue Murder, but sadly, this is where Blue Murder would end. What a band, what a career, and what an amazing couple of albums. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like, and if you want to see more from me, consider subscribing to the channel as it helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching, and take care. Bye for now.